Welcome, Annie Collins here for the Rabbit Hole Designs. Today I'm creating this fun Christmas card. Let's go over the products I used to create this card. The first is our stamp set called Clarence Believes. This is TRH172. It's an adorable set here with Clarence sitting in his chair waiting for Santa to come. He um, has his little lamp, some cookies for Santa, some milk, and he fell asleep so he's even drooling, which is adorable. Reminds me of my kids when they were little, they would say they would wait up for Santa, but they never did make it. I'm going to use some pattern paper here from the Rabbit Hole Designs. It's, it's got this diagonal stripe on the bottom and presents in the top. I'll use a diagonal stripe. I'm going to be using our new mid-century modern uh, stencil, and this is a four-layer stencil. It has this one here that has like this asterisk, and then several different dots. I'm just going to use two parts of this stencil today. I'm going to use a little asterisk looking part and one of the dots. At a later time I'll use all four layers for a card. To go with this I will be using um, with our stencil I'll be using Distress Oxide and Salvage Patina and for force Festive Berries. I'll be using this diagonal stripe and this, these two colors match perfectly with this pattern paper. We'll be using Accent Ultra Smooth uh, cardstock. This is 80 pounds. We're going to use that for our background. For, it's great for ink blending. It's also what I use for my Copic coloring. And that's what I use to stamp and color um, little clearance here. I have some layering cardstock in red and that's 65 pounds. So we'll, and then I have my card base which is 110 pounds. Uh, weight. We'll also be bringing in some VersaFine and Onyx Black for our sentiment. So let's get started. First I'm going to start with the asterisk looking part of our stencil. And the stencils have etched not only the name but also have etched this part that says top. That you have to make sure is always facing upwards or on the top. And that's way how you know your design will meet up correctly. I'm going to start with Salvage Patina and we're going to do all of these little asterisks with the salvage patina. <clears throat> I'm going to even do all those ones that are just off the um, cardstock a bit. Just want to make sure everything's all in there. And now this is part of the new uh, d Christmas release. We had a Christmas in July release. So this is all the new products from, from that release. There's some other wonderful products that you can find on the website, on the shop. And I'll have the shop listed in the link description. I'll have the shop's link listed in the description box below. All right, so now we're going to move on to the little um, circles here. And now we're going to use the festive berries for this. And I'm just lining it up. And as you can see, the red berries or the red, the red berries, the red circles will match up perfectly with the little asterisk. Now if I keep putting the layers, they match, they fill in all the little connecting lines and then some in between. I just wanted to keep it a little more simple because we we're using the pattern paper on the bottom so I didn't want a whole lot of uh, designs. Alright, so now we're done with both of our stencils. We'll set that aside and then I'll quickly wipe down our, my craft mat so that we don't get ink all over the place. And I'm going to bring in my trimmer really quickly so I can trim off the bottom portion of this pattern paper. And I'm leaving it the width that it is. I'm just going to cut it to match our card here. So what I'm trying to create with the pattern paper with the diagonal stripe is basically a little rug for Clarence to be uh, sitting on. So once I have that, I will adhere that to our polka dot, not oh, polka dot, no, <laughs> our stenciled background. And I was going to trim this down at first, my stencil background, but I decided to leave it in a hole, it just made it a lot easier and faster to create this card. So I'm going to go ahead and use some Barely Art Glue to adhere my panel onto my layering cardstock. 
and this is about an, a quarter of an inch smaller so this panel is four by five and a half and our layered con card layering cardstock is five it's four and a quarter by five and a half we are creating an a2 uh, size card which is four and a quarter by five and a half so i have that layering cardstock be the, the same size as our card base all right so now that we have that all adhered i'm going to uh, place clearance on the card and i have them raised up using some foam tabs so i'm just removing the backing of our foam tabs on here so that we can adhere clearance to our card front. Once I have all these, I can get this. I can place clearance down and there he is waiting for Santa. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I'm going to use this little piece of scrap paper that's left over from when I stamped and uh, clearance. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this on that little corner and then I'll trim it down. And our sentiment reads, may you never stop believing. So I'm going to grab my um, tiny trimmer here and I'm going to trim this down. Give it a quick trim. Once we have that all trimmed down, I will use some foam adhesive to adhere this to our card. I slanted one of our ends here, and I'm going to place it right here on the top left. I think I'm going to bring in a little bit of this diagonal paper since I have some, and I'm going to create another little strip with it, also putting a little diagonal cut on the end. And that one I will adhere directly to our card front, and then I will then adhere our sentiment using some foam tape, just trimming it down really quickly, placing it on the back of our sentiment, and then that will go right on top of that diagonal striped paper. I'm trying to use my uh, grid mat here as to, to line everything up. I gently just adhere the edge so I can straighten anything up and now I'm going to bring in some glitter enamel dots in red and in like an aqua color. I'm going to place two towards the bottom right and then three around our, the sentiment. So I'm going to place one above it and then two below it. And now I've had these in my stash for a little bit. So they have some stick but not a lot. So I'm going to reinforce that with a little bit of um, barely art glue especially since I'm sticking it on top of some of the wet um, ink. So our card is not complete. So we use the mid-century modern four layer stencil and Clarence Believes stamp set along with some distress oxides in salvage patina and festive berries. Again, I'll have everything listed in the description box below for you. Thank you for being here and I hope you found some inspiration today.